your glory. I, I, I am very sure that you, 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 are, um, you stay good to your set, monitoring the draw for 2023 Nations Cup. Yeah, well, uh, we are uh, we are looking for that. It's our goal achieve the um, the next Afcon. So uh, let's let's do it. After the draw, the Palancas Negras of Angola found themselves in Group E alongside the Black Stars of Ghana, the Barrier of Madagascar, and then the the World Beast of Central African Republic. Was it the kind of um, group you were expecting to find yourself in? Well, we we waited for uh, for the draw with serenity. The draw is the draw, so uh, we know that um, uh, Ghana and the, the teams from uh, Pot Pot One all are very strong. Uh, um, and uh, I believe, uh, yeah, Ghana is the favorite, but uh, but the group is uh, very equal, very balanced between the uh, all the the national teams. So I believe uh, all the national teams have chance to to win points each each match, and uh, I believe will will be six matches for us, very strong. But uh, in the end. I hope uh, we achieve the AFCON. You've already said Ghana is a favorite from this group. So apart from Ghana, which other team do you foresee qualifying alongside Ghana for the 2023 Nations Cup? Well, if I understand uh, well your question, for me and uh, I believe for everybody, uh, Ghana have a historic national team in Africa, a very powerful national team. It's not, uh, it's not uh, lucky. Uh, it, it is one of the five national teams who uh, represent Africa in next World Cup. So, sure, Ghana is is the favorite, and. Um, and uh, I believe between Angola, um, Madagascar, and um, uh, Central African uh, Republic uh, will be a big fight. Um, but uh, as, as I said, I, I believe we 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 gonna do it. The Parangas will do it, right? I hope that's my efforts. All my efforts. <laughs> Uh, we are crossing uh, many many troubles uh, many setbacks in uh, in my path in national team uh, but we are growing and step by step sure i want uh, uh, more speed uh, in our development but uh, is like it was so um, we are planning a lot of uh, actions but uh, Sometimes the financial issues cut us uh, to do it. And that. Performance in all the matches. Now, the, 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 the primary matches starts in June. From now to June. Yes. Pedro, um, what are some of the things you're going to put in place? So that the Palancas Negras of Angola can qualify alongside the Black Stars, as you've already said. Yes, uh, the the the, um, the window, uh, the June window, it's important. Well, the three uh, the three windows all are important, but it's always important uh, do uh, a good step in the uh, in the first good step. Um, by by the the draw we gonna play the first match at home uh, against the um, Central African. Um, we hope achieve uh, uh, four or six points in the the first two matches and uh, look for the matches in September against Ghana uh, and try to to um, additionate more more points. In our pet, uh, but uh, we know in September the both matches with Ghana are very important. 
uh, Ghana at that time are looking also for the World Cup. So for sure we'll be very strong at the moment. But uh, at the other point, uh, Ghana also and the players uh, sometimes are a little bit restricted because uh, they want to play the World Cup. So for us, we're going to try to put all, uh, all our uh, efforts in that matches. Uh, but uh, we know that, that Ghana are very, very powerful. And, um, but for sure, we'll be very competitive matches. Before a country qualifies for the Nations Cup, you, ha you have to get support from your from your effort, from from the government, and then from from the supporters. You, you've coached um, the the Palancas Negras of Angola for some time. What what are you expecting from the from the FA, from the government as well as the supporters, so that we can see you can see Pedro at Abidjan? Well. <sighs> My job, my job is uh, is in the pitch and prepare uh, um, uh, all the team uh, uh, to to be good in the in the in the field. But uh, for sure, it's very important the support of the government. And unfortunately, in the uh, nowadays, that is not uh, big supported, but. Uh, well, it is what uh, what uh, it is. As I said, uh, when we we always uh, searching for plan A, plan B, plan C. Uh, but uh, when you watch our matches, uh, the people watch and don't doesn't know what happened um, in the backstage, and that's why I believe uh, we are growing. And uh, I hope uh, the people uh, in Angola create a good synergies uh, because people in Angola loves football, but nowadays are a little bit um, far from uh, support uh, the teams. That's why if you look uh, the quarterfinal between Petro Luanda and Mamelodi in the stadium only was more or less five or six thousand uh, people uh, assist so uh, it's important more um, more uh, atmosphere in the matches uh, we are as I said growing in the last matches I feel I felt that uh, the people are with, with us uh, with commitment together so this is my hope and um, uh, in the end uh, is growing step by step Okay, Pedro, thanks so much for talking to us, FM in Kumasi, Ghana. Um, we wish you the best of luck. Like, like you said, we are going to put things together so that the Palancas and the girls of Angola will be in an Abidjan. Now, we, we, we would like to meet you there. So, uh, I'm wishing you good yeah, luck. Sure. And, um, I, I hope thank things you, will thank be Thank you well. so much, Ike. And in the end, probably, and I, my, my hope is be together. In next Afcon, most, most definitely, most and definitely, most definitely. When, when the Black of Ghana uh, are into the, the grand finale, uh, I'm hoping I will see you there. <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. Thank you. Thank you, Ike. Thank you. And uh, all the best uh, for you and for Ghana. And God bless us. Thanks, thanks for your time. You are most